gentlemen, this is Vince Miller. Thank you so much for joining me for this devotional. We finally got to the epic verse, Proverbs 27, 17. It reads, iron sharpens iron and one man sharpens another. And you know, the image here is iconic and epic. <laughs> I always imagine the workshop of a master level ironsmith. I then see him walk over to a large wooden barrel from which he selects a raw piece of iron. He picks it up and he surveys it in his hands and he begins to envision what it might become, but the mystery eludes us. Next, he starts giving it shape by heating and striking it over and over again, one hard swing after another. His sledge draws the iron out. And here, for the very first time, we, we notice a shape. We see what the iron might become. But fellas, he's not finished. He sits down the sledge and exchanges it for a more aggressive tool, the grinder. He applies the iron to the spinning wheel and, and sparks begin to fly. With every turn, small pieces of iron are removed and ejected from the metal. And as he continues, dullness is stripped from the metal in his hands and the iron shines brighter and gets sharper. And this is the image the writer uses to describe the value that one God-fearing man brings to another. With the help of another more experienced man, a raw man is made better. You see, it takes more than just one experienced man to envision and shape and sharpen another man. Therefore, we can conclude that a God-fearing man without an experienced man in his life is, well, he's useless <laughs> and as useless as a piece of iron sitting in a wooden barrel. And fellas, unused iron that's sitting in a wooden barrel only does one thing. It rusts. That's all it does. It just sits there and rusts and becomes undesirable to even handle. But a man in the hands of another more experienced man takes shape and is sharpened and becomes useful. So do this for me today. Stop waiting. It's time to get sharper, fellas. Build a relationship with another man who has more real life, real time experience than you do. And don't overcomplicate this thing. Just find someone who is great at something that you're not in your spiritual life and then just ask him one question. How do you do that thing? And then heed any good and godly advice he gives you and allow it to grind on you. <laughs> Fellas, I hope this has blessed you today. If it has, Leave a comment for me below. I'd really love it if you just went and found a guy, named him below that you're going to ask for advice today. And with that, if it's blessing you, then use it to bless someone else by sharing that devotional, this devotional with just someone. And I'll see you right back here again tomorrow.